so the pharmacology antibiotic or somebody say antibiotic so antibiotic or antibiotic we use for any kind of infection like someone is get infection by bad bacteria or uh, protozoa or fungi even virus that times we use back antibiotic especially antibiotic we use again bacterial infection if anybody attacked by the virus we use antiviral medication right but what you should know antibiotic is a medication used for treatment of infection so used to treat infection is a way there are several category of antibiotic one of them are penicillin one of them are penicillin right penicillin is a narrow spectrum right penicillin is a narrow spectrum and penicillin are the drug name called penicillin amoxicillin or ampicillin as i told you the penicillin is a narrow spectrum but amoxicillin is a broad spectrum what does it mean narrow spectrum or broad spectrum narrow spectrum means the bacteria antibiotic what work again only gram positive bacteria or only act on gram negative bacteria but the broad spectrum antibiotic they work again gram positive and gram negative both like amoxicillin is a broad spectrum antibiotic right if you go in the different book there are also several or other penicillin the name like um tebo uh, to uh, to uh, tetrabactam or pipanocillin different name and but easy to make if you make it easy most of the penicillin ending is cilin c i l l i n cilin like penicillin amoxicillin ampicillin uh, tetrabactam is a little bit different name but ending is the cilin but if you say what are the indication of penicillin indication of the penicillin as i told you bacterial infection to control or kill the bacteria basically penicillin act on bacterial cell wall they broke break down the bacterial cell wall or weakening the bacterial cell wall and causing the cell death and bacteria die and bacteria die so here the side effect so when you prescribed penicillin to your patient as a rn you has to educate your patient about the side effect of penicillin so if anybody take the penicillin they have a chance to develop the gi upset 
GI upset means nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. Some of the penicillin are allergies, causes the allergic reaction, like dyspnea or skin rash. Even some of the penicillin are renal, causes the renal toxicity. So there are some key points you have to know about the penicillin. As an example, I said, do not give to the patient with a history of allergy to penicillin or allergy to cephalosporin. I'm going to explain. So when you take the history from the patient, you have to take the medication history, drug history. If you see, or if patient explain you, I, I am the known case of penicillin allergic, right? You never ever give them penicillin. So do not give to the patient with a history of allergy to penicillin or cephalosporin. Also, if you give the penicillin to the patient in hospital, you have to monitor for any kind of allergic response. Allergic response is usually expressed by shortness of breath or rash, skin rash. Okay. So as I told you, the indication of penicillin are like for gonorrhea, gonorrhea is a sexual transmitted disease or pneumonia or UTI means urinary tract infection. If your patient has a gonorrhea or pneumonia or UTI, you give them the penicillin, right? So, so as I told you, if anybody has a gonorrhea, gonorrhea is a sexual transmitted disease or it is called STI, sexual transmitted infection. And after, if anybody is infected and the, if they do any, um, sexual intercourse without barrier method and patient can um, get attacked with the gonorrhea, right? And pass discharge, you see, pass discharge from uh, uh, penis and also the uh, vagina. And if anybody has a gonorrhea, we give them the penicillin. The treatment is the penicillin, I said. Same as if anybody has a very bad pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection in both lungs. So this is the lungs we, are, we can see, the bronchi. So in the bronchi, the bronchioles, and finally they end in the alveoli. And in the alveoli where the gas exchange occur, but in case of pneumonia, the fluid is accumulated in alveoli and patient has a shortness of breath, difficulty of breathing. So if anybody has a pneumonia, we can prescribe the penicillin, amoxicillin or ampicillin. Even if patient has a urinary tract infection, Definitely the urinary tract infection, the treatment of choice is not anti uh, penicillin. Uh, we, we, we choose the cephalosporin like ceftrazodine or cephalaxine, right? Or other antibiotic like tetracycline, the drug of choice. But 
in, in case of UTI, we also can choose the penicillin or amoxicillin, right? So as I told you now, this is the name of medication we use for the treatment for gonorrhea, pneumonia, and UTI. This is the indication of penicillin. But as they are in, you have to know some more information about the penicillin, right? So I said, when you give the patient to penicillin, you have to ask about the history of allergy to penicillin or cephalosporin. Ask about any kind of reaction such as itching or skin rash or hives. In the, it, it does indicate patient has an allergy to penicillin. And do not give if any reaction has occurred in past. So when you take the drug or medication history from the patient, if they have it, any reaction, you do not allow them to take the penicillin. But keep in mind, penicillin is a safe for pregnancy or during the pregnancy. The first time, so the first time a patient, if take the penicillin, always we, you should stay with the patient, just like a blood transfusion. Why you have to stay with the patient? To see the allergic reaction to the penicillin. Sometimes some unfavorable or unfortunate patient, right, can develop the allergic reaction. In that case, we give them antidote. What is antidote? Antidote means the medication can stop the penicillin activities. And the, the name of antidote of penicillin is called epinephrine, epinephrine. So if you give penicillin to your patient, educate your patient to take medication for full prescribed, right? So like your patient has to take the penicillin for seven days. If your patient has to take the penicillin for 14 days, you have to make sure your patient has to take complete dose because after two or three doses or after one or two do, uh, days, the disease sign and symptoms will disappear. But most of the patient has to stop the medication take but you should tell them or educate the patient to take the medication for full prescribed length of time. Do not stop when symptom disappear, okay? So uh, in penicillin section, we talk about the drug's name, the side effect, the indication, mode of action also we talk. And the key point I told, we has to monitor for any kind of allergic reaction. 